Hi, I'm Dan Puplett. In this video we're going to look at wildlife feeding signs on cones. Now the seeds of Scots pine and a number of other conifers are an important food source for some of our wildlife, including a number of birds and some rodents as well. And the seeds are contained within the cone. This is a Scots pine cone just here. And if you get a cone and try and pull it apart, you find it's a pretty tough structure and it's quite impressive the different techniques that various species have developed to get at the seed inside the cone. And it's really worth their while because the seed's high in fat so it's a good source of energy. So if you find damaged cones in the forest, you can tell by the kind of damage what wildlife has been feeding on it. So let's have a look at a few examples down here. So firstly, crossbills. Now crossbills are perhaps the most specialised of all of our wildlife when it comes to feeding on conifer seeds and they've got this bill crosses over like this and they use that to prise apart the scales and get their tongue inside to get the seeds out. And now when you find crossbill eaten cones you'll see these vertical splits down the cone. Now you'll often find them directly down the centre of each scale or generally just cracks running down the cone itself. Now, great spotted woodpeckers feed in a different way. They tend to bash and batter the cone a lot more, so it looks a lot more kind of roughed up and damaged like this. And they like to use an anvil, a workshop of some kind, where they lodge the cone inside. They wedge it in and then bash away with their bill to open it up and get at the seeds. So they sometimes use an old tree stump or even a cavity in some pine bark, something like that. And you'll often find discarded cones scattered below the workshop. Just bear in mind as well that trampled cones can look really similar to this. So where there's been a lot of human traffic or even on forest rides where there's vehicles going along, sometimes even in areas where there's a lot of red deer moving about, you'll find a lot of cones that look crushed like this. And it can take a while to get your eye in, and if you're unsure, it's good to look for an anvil to confirm it's definitely woodpecker sign you're looking at. Also, if you find cones, those kind of cones, scattered a distance from the nearest pine tree, then that's a good sign as well, because obviously they've been carried there. Now, there's a few features that can help us recognise cones that have been eaten by squirrels, and one of them is this tuft of scales on the top and they tend to leave these for a couple of reasons. One is that the, there's very few seeds under these upper scales, so it's not really worth their while getting in there. And also they hold on to this end as they're turning the cone around, biting the scales. Now squirrels will tend to eat through a combination, or get to the seed through a combination of tearing and biting the scales. So sometimes you'll find more of them torn like this, other times more bitten like this, but on the whole the surface looks pretty rough and ragged. And also location is important as well, so typically squirrels like to feed where they've got a view around them. They'll often feed from up in a tree or on a prominent tree stump or fallen tree, and they like to have a view so they can see predators, things like goshawks and buzzards. So you'll often find scattered cones scattered below a tree or on a tree stump and also the scales as well that have been bitten off. The bottom of a cone eaten by a squirrel also looks quite rough and ragged as well where the scales have been torn off. Just bear in mind there can be some variation as well. So you've got these ones here. There's one here which is that's clearly more torn than bitten right through but the overall look is fairly similar. Now, squirrels like us are either right or left-handed, the majority of them being right-handed, and believe it or not, you can actually tell whether it is a right or left-handed squirrel eating the cone by looking at the cone more closely. Now, if we look at the angle here where these scales have been bitten through, they're going at an oblique angle from the right up to the left, now that means it was a right-handed squirrel. So basically that squirrel just had it, the top of the cone facing to its right 
as it was feeding and turning the cone around. So we've been looking mainly at Scott's pine cones, but I'll just show you briefly some other tree species that have been fed on by squirrels. So here's a, a Norway spruce cone. It's a real favourite with red squirrels. And here's a Sitka spruce cone. It's not that popular with them, but they'll eat it if they don't have much other choice. This small one is a larch cone. And here's a Douglas fir. Now, mouse feeding sign is a bit different, and here's a Scots pine cone. At first glance, it can look a little like squirrel feeding sign, but there's some important differences. Firstly, typically, there'll be fewer scales at the tip on average, and also the surface tends to be much smoother looking. The mouse can get really close in there with its, in, with its incisors and bite off the scales more closely. And rather than the oblique angle that you'll often get with squirrel cones on the, the base of the scales, the angle is much more horizontal. With Scott's Pine I tend to find mice leave the scales at the base rather than getting, getting rid of them like squirrels do. But on other species of conifer, like this is a Sitka spruce cone that's been fed on by a mouse. You can see it's smooth all the way along but bitten top to bottom. And the location is important again, whereas with squirrels they tend to feed where they've got more of a view around them, mice actually like to hide somewhere under cover. So you'll typically find caches of chewed cones in a cavity under some roots or in an old abandoned burrow, something like that. Not always. There's times when you might find them scattered um, on the forest floor, particularly in denser forests, but usually you'll find them under cover. It's worth mentioning that you can't reliably distinguish between vole and mouse feeding sign purely on cones. You'd need to have other evidence to do that. So to recap, we've got crossbill feeding sign here, these vertical splits running down the cone. Woodpecker sign, really smashed and bashed up, often found lodged within an anvil, a workshop of some kind. Squirrel sign, this tuft of scales at the top often quite rough and ragged in appearance, and mouse feeding sign, much smoother and neater, fewer scales at the top, if any, and usually, though not always, found under cover. So there are a few tips for identifying wildlife feeding sign on cones. I hope that's been useful. If it has, please consider making a donation to your local wildlife trust, to Trees for Life, or another conservation charity. Please also like this video and subscribe as well if you'd like to see more wildlife and tracking videos that are coming down the pipeline. Also check out my website danpuplet.net to find out more about courses that are coming up. Thanks for watching and happy tracking. Thank you.